the 501 streetcar. Whether you love it or hate it, it remains as one of the many treasures of the city. That's why today I'm hopping on the 501 streetcar and I'm gonna ride that baby from start to finish for basically no reason. For context, this streetcar route runs right across the city, traveling as far west as Long Branch and as far east as the beaches. Thousands depend on it on a daily basis. Here we go. Now if you're an experienced 501er like me, you should know to always have your 501 survival kit on hand. Number one, earphones. Preferably used for listening to music, but also a great tool for pretending like you're on a call or too busy for a conversation. Number two, sunglasses. You're bound to run into someone you faintly know, and we all know an awkward conversation on the 501 can last up to an hour. It's important to wear a disguise and lay low, especially if you're one to fall asleep on the streetcar. Number three, hand sanitizer. I mean, this one goes without saying, you never know who or what you might come across on the 501, whether it's a friendly canine or secondhand furniture. But when the 501 one isn't absolutely packed, it's actually an incredible ride that passes by key Toronto landmarks like the Eaton Centre, City Hall, Trinity Bellwoods, Leslieville, and even the water filtration plant. That's probably why it was voted by National Geographic as one of the world's top trolley rides. Just be sure to get a seat because it can make you sleepy. We uh, officially got to the end of the streetcar line going east. Now we're doing the whole thing over again, heading west. 